Thanks everyone for joining us today for our series on working AI. Today we're talking about our new agent toolkit, and we're also talking about agent interoperability more broadly here at Glean. I'm joined by Steve. This isn't your first time on the show, but for those of you who are new and want to get to know Steve, could you give a, a quick introduction? Sure, yeah. My name uh, is Steve Calvert. I lead Glean's developer platform team here um, and mostly focusing on agents and building agent orchestration uh, infrastructure. Yeah, and beyond that, you run our whole developer experience. And so we have a number of ways to integrate with Glean our search APIs, our chat APIs, and indexing APIs too. Um, so there's a lot that you can kind of build on with Clean and build with Clean as well. Um, and, and that really gets to what is one of the core beliefs behind Clean, and that's one of openness. We believe our customers should own their own data and they should get to build where, where they'd like to. Can you share how that's being brought into the developer experience? Yeah, so the spirit of that openness is actually embodied in what we're building. So we're, we're building a lot of tools and capabilities that make it really, really flexible uh, for you be, to be able to utilize that enterprise context wherever is appropriate for you. Yeah, and there are a number of different options. Um, I'd love for you to enumerate on them, um, but maybe you could also give some guidance. Uh, a lot of customers will ask us, how do I make a decision on, do I use MCP? Do I use our agent's APIs? and would love for you to kind of give some, some high level guidance based off of what you've seen with our own customers. Yeah, makes sense. I, it's really hard to prescribe any specific one path. We have to recognize that some companies are very technical and may have deployed agents at scale uh, to date, and some may not have done that at all. So what we're really trying to provide is that flexibility for you to adapt to the needs of your company. So in that spirit, uh, we offer um, APIs, so direct API access to our agents, so that's running agents uh, through APIs. Um, and then building on top of that, we, we provide MCP servers. We allow you to invoke agents via MCP servers as well, which is, is quite flexible. Um, and then we have integrations with Langchain um, and, and also uh, a new uh, offering called the Glean Agent Toolkit. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons we're here today. So could you tell a little bit more about the Glean Agent Toolkit, what it is, how does it make it easier to build agents? Absolutely, yeah. So the Glean Agent Toolkit is really an adaptation of our uh, no-code agent builder in Glean itself. And we have extracted a bunch of the tools that we provide to that agent builder and wrapped them in an easy to use Python library. But that's not all. The Python library actually adapts itself to work with many different SDKs. And that's really the strength here is it's quite a simple toolkit, but provides a lot of capability and flexibility to integrate. That's awesome. I hear you have a demo. Uh, could you maybe walk us through how the agent toolkit works in a real life enterprise scenario? Sure, absolutely. So we put a demo together that actually captures a lot of that enterprise context and uses it with an agent that's built on a completely different stack. So in this case, we're using Google's ADK to actually build this agent. And we're blending it together with capabilities with GitHub's APIs. So what this demo does is it actually um, identifies a failed GitHub Actions log and then uses Glean's context to be able to provide a solution to uh, address the, the problems within your uh, CI CD run. Okay, so you can debug your CI CD pipeline. And, exactly. And the thought here is you both have GitHub action data, but then there's probably a lot of other context that's not held in GitHub around why this failed. Exactly, like someone may have encountered this problem before, they may have asked this question in Slack, it may be present in, in Glean, you can pull that information out and synthesize it together. And we've actually bundled this up in a really nice way with an MCP server, uh, to deploy it directly into Cursor, and it allows you to actually debug uh, straight from Cursor uh, through that agent, utilizing the GitHub APIs to pull that action log, and then using Glean Context to debug. Okay, so Cursor is like the UI for this experience. Because exactly. Because a lot of developers are, are already building that's right. in Cursor, and so if something right. goes wrong, that's where they're gonna wanna maybe run a lot of their debugging. Exactly, and then MCP obviously as the stitching together with that external agent and then the, the environment that you're running it, which happens to be Cursor. So it just brings that capability directly into the IDE for you. So this was like a special treat. Not only did we get to see the agent toolkit, but we also got to see MCP in one demo. Exactly. Yeah. So so can you walk us through kind of what it, it looks like? Sure. Yeah. So 
first stop here is, is we're looking at the agent implementation that we have. And so again, um, we're utilizing Google's ADK, which is a, is a really nice SDK to build agents. And then we've actually also built some custom tools. In this case, we're using a GitHub uh, actions log fetcher. So it's actually fetching the log of the failed pull request and brings it into this agent's context and allows us to utilize Gleam uh, to be able to to search through for remediations. Yeah. yeah, it's it's so interesting, you know, because Glean is a search background. A lot of people ask us about log analytics, and this is always a use case that I say, which is your logs only tell one part of the story. Um, so it's really cool to get to see this type of use case come alive in an agent. Yeah, and this is a good indication, again, or example of pulling that enterprise context, bringing that wide breadth of knowledge to bear on a one specific problem. Um, can you actually show me what the output looks like? Yeah, so so as you can see, we're actually asking for the status of a particular pull request. And what our agent will do is it'll fetch the logs from that pull request. Um, it'll actually blend it together with the context that we get from Glean. And it ha has actually found a solution and provided uh, a, you know, a path to remediation for you. Well, this is a really cool demo. If I wanted to go see more code examples, learn more about Agent Toolkit, where should I go? Yeah, we recently relaunched our developer site that you can find at developers.glean.com. Um, there's an agent section within that site, and within that section, you can actually find out more details about the Glean Agent Toolkit. Awesome. Well, thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. Thanks thank for you. this great demo and a little bit more on how we approach Interop here at Glean. Thank you. Take care, everyone. Thanks for joining. Well, if I want to check out the Agent Toolkit, where should we go? Well, you can't, Julie. I'm sorry. It's just, uh, Where's just you. You can. No. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. We've gone totally off the rails here. We retake the ending. <laughs> uh, yeah. what, what do you mean? It was perfect. <laughs> I, 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 I was totally serious. <laughs> <laughs>